Due to overcrowding, District 1 is no longer offering open enrollment to students in District 8. But a recent meeting offered a unique solution. Malik Wilson shows us how they're working to make sure students can flow once again from one district to another. As you know, we're overcrowded, and we need to make sure that we need to find creative means and a creative way to add 400 seats to our high school. And a creative solution indeed is what they have come up with to help both districts. After a few weeks of back and forth discussion, on Monday, District 8 board members agreed unanimously to give $3 million to District 1 to help expand Williston High School. What we'd asked District 8 before we made this decision is if they were willing to help us to contribute to an expansion project of the high school so we can take the high school from a 1,200-seat high school to a 1,600-seat high school. This is just a short-term solution for an evolving problem. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of additional issues that we need to work out, including the tuition issue, which came up, um, which, you know, our, our board feels very strongly that if we're going to continue taking out of district students, then the tuition dollars need to come along with those students as well to help um, defray some of the operational costs that we have um, at the high schools. There are still plans to be made in the future, but Baltus feels this is a step in the right direction. And I know not everyone's happy about it, um, but um, if we have the commitment and we're actually able to move forward with construction, I think that, you know, our, our board may be comfortable. Reporting for KX News, Malik Wilson. District 1 and District 8 are set to meet again next week. Now schools all across the country use the school bell 